Hey, Let's queen. talk about some showbiz, big showbiz stuff before we get into the journey, into the uh, K-hole uh, of your story, mm, which I really just got to mm, get in and get all juicy in. Okay, but okay. Um, I read that Freak Show, your second novel, right? Yes. Uh, is going to be made into a big, gigantic Hollywood movie starring every gay boy's dream, Bette Midler. Is what so applause, yeah. everyone! <laughs> Did you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? I said, Ben Midler. Um, Freak Show was a, it was a novel. It was a, it was a book that I wrote. It was a young adult novel, and it's about uh, a little drag queen in school, in high school, who gets beat up and bullied and everything, and he falls in love. And, love. and it was sort of, it was my story. It was sort of the jumping off story from my, my Right, experience. you took the pain of your own little drag queen mm, Fort Lauderdale yes. high school past. Yes. And you took it as a jumping off point to the for, story about the Billy, story. right? And um, uh, it came out in like 2007, and then we've been trying to get it off the ground. We've been trying to get. I sold the rights and to a friend of mine who was a producer, and we've been trying to do it, trying to. Trudy Styler, perhaps. Well, no, but th this is what, what happened. <laughs> I thought you were just trying to dash over. You're like. My friend who's a producer, no, no big deal. No, 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 oh, no, you mean no. Sting's wife? No, 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 the names will be dropping. I will be dropping the names good, good. in one second. I don't want you to hold back. <laughs> yeah, okay. no, no, there is no holding back here. So we've been trying to do it for like seven years, and it went to Flower Films, which is Drew Barrymore. Right. Sting. One name. Ding. Yeah, there we go. And it went through a bunch of people. At one point, like Sarah Jessica Parker was going to do it, and at one point it was like, uh, there was a bunch of people, and everybody kept dropping out, and then... Um, it went to Maven Films. They were the financers. This is a, this is a little big story I know. But it's then, Hollywood talk, everyone. I like it. But then it, it shut down, and then the minute it, we, we lost, we had a, um, a director... Uh, uh, I can't even remember his name, but he was really good. And then George he Lucas. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Um, uh, he does a lot of video. Oh, this I'm going anywhere. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the minute it dropped out, the movie was canceled, and then all of a sudden, Trudy Styler, who was one of Sting's wife, who was one of the the money people, said, "You know what? I think I want to direct it." Wow. And the minute she said she wanted to direct it, like it was full steam ahead. Oh, the stars and, rain and from the all sky. All of a sudden, Bette Midler came on, and then we had Abigail Breslin. We had uh, Anna Sophia Robb. We have all sorts of these cute little boys. Oh my God, they're just, I just want to eat them up. And then um, the costume designer from uh, the Tim Burton movies came wow. on. And uh, uh, the director, Dante Spinati, who's won Academy Awards, is the cinematographer. Like It all sort of fell into place. And then we filmed it in November. Wow. And so it's being edited now, and hopefully, knock wood, we can get it out by like fall, maybe? Oh. That is incredible. <laughs> And bet they say they say this is Oscar. This is her Oscar moment. Oh, oh my God. And I'm just putting that out there goodness. right now. I'm just, yeah. If anyone in the Academy is watching, oh this is, pay attention for Bet. Bet uh. Midler, she you need to make up for not giving her anything for for the boys or oh, outrageous fortune. Oh, I outrageous mean, fortune is one of my favorites. Uh, me too. Outrageous fortune should have won an Oscar. They should have shared best actress Shelley Long <laughs> and Bet Midler and best screenplay. <laughs> I. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm a, I love For the Boys, too. That is yeah, that was a great one. Yeah, yeah. God bless. Well, I mean, what a Hollywood dream, and it's already filmed and ready to yes, go. Yes, they filmed it in upstate New York in November in the middle of winter, and it was uh, it's supposed to be like in the summer, but they were all, it was, they were all in like little skimpy outfits in the oh middle my of gosh. The winter, but anyway. <laughs> and so if you have to go... The Academy. Oh, well, <laughs> I've got what, the outfit already planned. What would you wear? Well, probably some sort of hoop skirt action, <laughs> and, and I'm sure maybe that I would maybe have a, you do some sort of <laughs> borrow Erica Torres, uh, some sort of foam core nuttiness. Hat. Yeah, yeah uh huh. There's yeah. That would be fun. That would be nice. That would be amazing. But they don't let the writers go to the... Uh, I would be in the nosebleeds. Yeah, but the, you could at least bust down the red carpet, <laughs> bring all the gals from the race with you under your hoop skirt. <laughs> yeah. And then when it's time for your moment, you flip it up and everyone's moving <laughs> <Everyone's poking> around <laughs> you. <laughs> Michael Alec crashes <laughs> it behind you. He's like, what about me? <laughs> 